The reason that a doctor comes to work at the Glaucoma Center of Excellence is teaching. Each of us loves clinical work, we love our research, but it's in the education of those who will be in the medical field that we really get our joy. Here we have really tried to redefine how our teaching is done. First of all, our teaching is no longer passive. The passive elements such as lecture delivery have all been placed online so that have very active sessions where cases are discussed and there is a back and forth interchange and interact with us in small groups where there may be only five to six students per faculty member. We educate from the level of undergraduates and medical students who come to us for their first research projects and to learn about clinical medicine in general. It's really nice that in the Hopkins curriculum, research is an important focus of our learning and so dedicated time is built into the curriculum to help us achieve that. Through residents in ophthalmology who are spending three years learning how to become an ophthalmologist, in that three-year program they learn to examine patients, they learn to make and appropriately diagnose and treat glaucoma, and they learn the surgical procedures that are important to taking care of the disease. Residency is unlike previously when we were basically in the lecture room learning about basic diseases, finally when we get to residency we feel like we're real doctors. But it's after that and in that graduate program or fellowship program each doctor specializes in the care of glaucoma for another one to four years. You're either operating or seeing patients with the faculty and thereby learning from them, learning their surgical techniques, learning how they would evaluate a patient, how they make decisions. And then, because again, this faculty is so dedicated to education, there are meetings. We have a meeting every Monday night where we talk about each other's research, we talk about the clinic. Uh, another key educational component on, at, on our service is regular journal clubs. Every two months or three months, we have a journal club at one of the faculty members' houses. We have dinner, we have a social time, and then we talk about two or three major articles in the field. And it's a great interaction with the students who join us in the service. Our the program has trained more than 55 experts around the world, many of whom are now leading a glaucoma service of their own. Those young people learn the fine points of glaucoma care, and they each begin projects of their own research to add to the field and to make the disease and its treatment better for all those who have glaucoma. In addition to the fellows who are here, our faculty lectures at many institutions worldwide at national and international meetings. Several of the glaucoma faculty lead the program planning for those large organizations that educate other ophthalmologists and medical doctors, uh, lecturing at big meetings, uh, such as a recent meeting at the European Glaucoma Society where two of our faculty were keynote speakers. In the future, we expect that such educational efforts will take on an, an increasingly important role for the Glaucoma Center of Excellence.